and welcome to another video. Yes, it is I again, your host, Mr. Nylon or Duke of Nylon, whichever you prefer. I know it's been a while, but uh, due to work and uh, health issues, uh, I just been barred from making uh, actual videos. I hope you liked that little last commercial video. It's pretty good. It's a nice thing, the catalog. Panio's commercial was awesome. Don't see him a lot today. More, mostly only ads. But yeah, now that I'm back, today will be cataloging more pantyhose in an effort to catalog almost every type of pantyhose slash sites uh today here we are with two i'm gonna do two because uh these two in particular don't have a lot of thing i don't have a lot of thing to say there are there they are new and unique but there's, there's not a lot going on to them like others like stockings had a big history and sort of and as you can see from the picture in the background, the first one will be toe pantyhose and the second one will be footless pantyhose. As you can guess by their name already, you can tell what they are. The first one is toe pantyhose and just like the name implies and I think that is the official name. Uh, these are pantyhose slash tights that have individual sleeves or, oh well, yeah, individual sleeves for your toes and as for as a, as in first-hand accounts i haven't tried these uh so i don't know how they feel but i've heard they can be quite bothersome to get into as in the toe part you know it's, it, it, it sounds like it it's uh i've been told that it's very hard to get your toes in the sleeves and especially the smaller uh, your smaller uh the big toe should probably be go easy but then when it gets a smaller one like the uh, pinky pinky toe uh, it can get quite uh bothersome that some people just don't forgo them uh if there are anything like putting nylon gloves which i do have a, a experience with yeah that that, that could be bothersome but uh it depends they, they look very unique and nice as you can see i'll be scrolling some pictures of different toe pantyhose uh they they look like they could, could provide uh a better type of job if you know what i'm trying to say uh trying to keep it pc friendly starts with an f ends with a job and that would be quite interesting to to, to do and feel because uh since uh, you can more freely move your toes uh you can uh sort of grab into stuff and what that stuff is uh, you can use your imagination and now let's talk about the other kind of pantyhose we're here to talk about footless pantyhose and again like the name says they're pantyhose or tights that are footless and by footless i they, uh it means they all the way go all the way down to the ankle and stop there they have no foot part now these can be a bit uh oh they're not tricky but they're some in fact they're probably easier to put on than toe panels but I, what i'm trying to say is some people might not even consider them as tights or panels because uh, it at, at, at the glance they look they just like tights you know regular every day you're going outside or you're going to gym type of tights but there are they are considered panels and like some in the picture they're even uh one of my favorite types of panel uh that met, the ones with the metallic look uh, that's definitely i should definitely get another pair of those but yeah those are footless panels how much you can say there uh i think they're good if you you want you still want the uh your if uh your feet free but you still want the nylon feel so or you do get a pair of foot footless pantyhose or tights and that's it there you have the nylon feel to all the way from your waist to your legs to your um, to your ankle and you still have uh freedom of your feet uh i mean it, it sounds like it'll be better to uh maybe fun uh if you're doing something that requires a lot of walking and don't, don't wanna again i don't have experience with these types of panels because i'm not a big fan of footless things uh, they feel like to me that there's basically uh yoga tights or lacquer tights that's why I haven't tried them, but I'll definitely try them. Uh, I'll probably do an unboxing, opening a, a pair of 
toe in a uh, footless pantyhose. But I'll definitely say I'm not the biggest fan because uh, for now, maybe I'll change my mind once I try them. Uh, well, I don't hate toes. I, like I said, the toe panels, is just, they look uh, kind of cumbersome to put in your toes. Uh, but yeah, footless pantyhose or uh, oh, tights. Uh, I can see them uh, practically like you can wear them outside, depending how pegged they are. Because like I said, they do use actual nylon and we all know yoga tights and like I tried are lack of tights are usually well lacquer or spandex but if you want actual nylon and want to go outside and just wear i mean again you gotta be careful with the opaqueness of what of the panios you can wear them outside more easily and still have uh, your feet uh free but yeah those are toe panios and foot lip panios tell them in the comments have you experienced with any of these uh, what do you think about them? Are you, do you agree that footless panels just, just look like uh, spandex tights or lacquer tights? And yeah, uh, feeling better and actually uh, with the job, I'm um, taking less days just because uh, just for uh, uh, health issues and I sh should be able to make more awesome videos like this. And again, sorry that the channel has lately become a bunch of mostly shorts. Uh, it's just my way that uh, I wanted to give you guys something where I couldn't just pop down. I know these videos are, are short, but sometimes work is just mm, wake up, uh, get ready, and go to work and repeat till like how many days I have work. But yeah, that has been toe pantyhose and footless pantyhose. And like I said before, uh, let me know if you what you think about them down in the comments below. And as always, keep on wearing.